my god. <laughs> hey, legends. Thought I. Oh, no, before this was. Uh, thought I just jumped. Oh, we. Hey, legends. Uh, oh. This episode. Oh. I've got it. Come on. <laughs> hey legends, just thought I'd jump in here quickly before this episode starts. Just to remind everyone that the easiest way to support our small little channel is to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, make sure you press that button. And if you love our content, make sure you are liking our videos because it really, really, truly helps our little channel out. Um, and it keeps us traveling as well. So, um, and don't miss the end of the episode. Make sure you get to the end, see what is next week. Cause we've got something pretty cool yeah, happening. It's not a travel video next week. It's not traveling. Um, and it's something pretty big. So we're excited. So don't miss it. Anyway, let's get into this week's episode. Welcome back to another episode guys. Um, we are in Broome. Um, can you believe it? I can't believe, I swear we booked Broome, thought about Broome so long ago and it's here and um, yeah it's pretty cool. We are on our way to probably one of the most, I'd say it's probably the most photographed beaches in Australia would you say? The sunset. Oh, the, sun, yeah. the sunset on the beach. Sunset. It's known for its sunsets. It's known for the camel rides on the beach. We are talking about Cable Beach, and um, we're on our way now. And I cannot if wait. We get on there, it's well, if we get on there, it's late, and apparently the tide is quite high tonight, which might ruin our chances. I hope not, because we brought a platter. We brought some drinks. We're ready to um, see a pretty specky sunset. So um, let's hope we can get on there. <laughs> Um, so before we go and explore today, I wanted to show you actually where we are. So um, we're at a caravan park called Cable Beach Caravan Park. Um, it's really short drive to the actual Cable Beach as well. And it is bloody lovely. Like our sights are lovely. It has a really nice feel and a vibe and it's very woody and shady, which is really, really good. Um, but only if you have um, a good enough site for Starlink. We actually got really lucky. Our Starlink keeps cutting in and out a little bit, but nothing too crazy. We've got like a little bit of a hole in the sky, which is amazing, but we've been around the park and there's some really shady areas. So just keep that in mind if you have Starlink or whatever, but it's a really nice park. It's got a beautiful big pool and um, yeah, it's really close to Cable Beach, which we love. <laughs> We're going to go out today and um, explore a little bit more about Broome, which is um, really cool. We really love this spot. Right, we've had a bit of a quiet morning. <laughs> Obviously not Freddy. <laughs> Every time I talk, he just starts screaming. Um, yeah, I had to actually go this morning to have a skin check because um, I had one in Durian Bay because I'm English obviously and um, they told me to get one done in another three months because I had a few, a couple like ones that didn't look so great. Um, they said the same again so they said I've got to go another three months so um, yeah it's a little bit hard on the road to um, organise that sort of thing. It, it's good if it's um, in advance and you know where you're going to be but um, this one over here decided to uh, chip her tooth off at the front, an adult tooth, uh, last week in the pool at Port Headland. So um, not an emergency as such because um, it didn't hurt her, but we tried to get, we we're on the wait, waiting list in Broome uh, for a dentist and luckily, <laughs> look at my Freddy, that's, luckily she got in this afternoon and she's, um, they fixed it for her. Wait, maybe I should talk quietly. Anyway, so she's, okay, she's fine, I'm fine, everyone's fine. We are off to the croc farm now. I think it's called the Malcolm Douglas yeah, Malcolm Crocodile Douglas. Sanctuary, whatever it's called. Uh, we've heard it's really good. A couple of friends have already been and we're going to go with our other friends, Emma and Damo and their kids. So um, yeah, let's go check it out. 
I'm really excited, never been to a crocodile sanctuary before, so it should be really cool. Hopefully everyone comes out with their fingers. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> Better than a snake. Oh my god. Look at his eyes. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah, I'm glad he's got a thing on his mouth. <laughs> That's insane. He's beautiful though. Look at his face. Oh my god. Okay, that's me. Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> I'm dying. So cute. They're cute when they're that size. <laughs> Not when they're any bigger. <laughs> oh my god, don't they just look fake? There's 32 of them I've counted in the water. Don't you reckon he just looks like a fake statue? Like, oh my god. Yeah, those two. I can't tell. I would not Jeez. Damo seems to think this is like a uh, strip club where everything looks a bit tasty, but um, you can't touch. Yeah. <laughs> no access. <laughs> no, no access. Wire, wire, chicken fence between you. It's only in some of the uh, seedier places. <laughs> And so the schedule. Freddie and TJ have retreated because Freddie's obviously screaming the house down. <laughs> hey, you got food now? Show mummy the big Yay, crocodile. Big crocodile. And I'm learning quite a bit about crocodiles today. Well, just to run. <laughs> yeah, what to do, run. No, apparently, so they have a, um, if you look at them, when they open their mouths, they've got no hole. So it looks yeah. like nothing goes through. And that's only because they don't want like things to go yeah, in there or the yeah or when they're underwater they don't want so when they want to eat they open up their valve so he was saying apparently theories say that um if you um push in when if he's got you you push in their mouth to open them out open their valve and they don't want water good to go in so they they let you go but yeah. he said it's a bad theory and he's yeah. tried it and it doesn't work doesn't work <laughs> no yeah. to apparently play dead the more you move the more they no, clench onto you Right, give me one fact about a crocodile. It it doesn't have to drink or eat for a long time. How long do you remember? No, he didn't say. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, 16 months. That's crazy, isn't it? They can do up to 16 months. I don't reach for the city lines. This ain't where I belong. Hey, look at me, man, what I be. Right, we're back from the croc. Sanctuary that was really really cool. I uh, learned quite a bit. The children learned a bit as well And it's just really cool to be that close to um, crocodiles without um, endangering ourselves <laughs> The last um, there's been a few times actually the last couple of days that, that people have spotted the crocodiles on the beaches here like Cable Beach and um, And one of a spot as well. So um, oh, I, just, oh, I don't know how people swim here. I've seen people swim last night. And I just I don't know how as soon as I hear there could be crocodiles, I'm like, hell no. <laughs> I highly recommend that spot. It was really, really cool. Um, but um, yeah, we just stopped off at Mitre 10 because we, we're doing the gib starting from uh, Monday. We just keep needing to get a few more pool noodles for under the caravan, um, like nuts and bolts and tape and, and whatnot. But one really cool thing, I just saw it on, um, on I think, Instagram on a video and someone showed using this. <laughs> So putting it on your drill piece, uh, sticking not it. Not that one. Yeah, not that bit. Oh yeah, this bit yeah. here. <laughs> sticking it on your on your drill piece and cleaning your floor. I've shown you before. Our floor has a bit of a like a bit of a grooves, bit of a grooves. It has grooves <laughs> in it, and the, the the dirt just literally sits in it. Doesn't matter if you wipe over or not. You need to scrub, and that is going to be epic. Good morning. Uh, we've come out for a little bit of an explore today, so um, we're going to go see the solitary tree. Um, so we're making sure that we've come at high tide so that you get the colours of the red sand, the blue water and the tree. Let's come down Crab Creek Road, was that right? You search for the bird observatory, it'll yeah, take Yes, you. search for the bird observatory. Well, Hopefully we've come at the right time and we can get some cool drone shots because that would be really, really cool. You right, Gwynny? You okay? 
that? Well, it's, it's there's just, so many trees. Yeah, I don't know. There's not a solitary one. Uh, maybe there was in yeah. Very yeah. weird. Yeah, 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 so apparently, so on low tide, like all of this, there's hardly any water near these trees at all. So you can literally go out there and um, the kids can play and um, and whatnot. But there is, there's quite a few people actually fishing. along the beach and fishing. Yeah. And um, I don't know how good I'm going to get a drone shot. I, I don't want to go near people, obviously. A three there, one there. One, maybe it's that one. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what the hell is going on? Just pick that one in front of us, aren't I? Because, yeah, there's a few people there, down there as well. I don't want to, um, obviously, annoy anyone. My drone out. See if we can get a good shot of that that one solitary tree. <laughs> That's definitely not solitary. come down to uh, coconut wells so uh, yeah. we've come down to the coconut wells tidal pools yeah there's apparently supposed to be a couple of like rock pools and stuff down here but the tide literally comes from knowledge all the way up and goes over there's a dead turtle there is a dead turtle as well which is a bit of a shame if we can find um a rock pool or two here's a little bit stinky actually but if, oh, I've seen some really good like photos and stuff of this. So I'm yeah, people take really good like yeah. photos and yes. Oh wow, that's a cool one, Quinny. What? Come on then. Oh, what was that little one there? Look, that one. That one. Whee! Okay, yeah, this is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, these are the like things I've seen, and people there must be deep enough ones where you can sit in it. Yeah, so this is the area, so obviously there's, you know, a little bit of deeper water here. It'd probably be better with a bit more water in it. I can imagine this actually fills all the way up. So maybe we've come at too much of a low tide. I don't know, it's really hard to get all these places right. You know, you don't know when to come. So maybe come when the tide is going out. I don't know. Almost like your own bath. Like, that one's actually quite deep. Oh, there's lots of... um crabs and stuff in there though <laughs> they are oh there's fish in these ones oh wow there's some fish in these ones guys oh and some massive crabs look look at that one there's also um uh, dinosaur footprints around here as well but um to be fair i reckon you could be searching forever unless there's a sign which i don't think there's a sign yeah, what did you find oh wow yeah we're not going to go searching for dinosaur footprints today but apparently they're here and um, I have seen pictures of them, but where they are, we actually don't have a clue somewhere. <laughs> been summoned apparently Freddie is doing a new little trick where he bends down with everyone look he'll bend down get his hands down like daddy <laughs> yeah, what is it have a look what is it yay <laughs> does anyone else agree with me you wait forever for the sunset and then it hits the horizon and just goes boom so quick <laughs>
And that is our time in Broome. That was short. It was short, short-lived, but we want to come back and enjoy it a little bit more. Oh, we okay. can't wait to come back and explore a bit more and, you know, do more Cable Beach sunsets. But this is pretty epic down here as well for a sunset. It just smells. <laughs> it is a little bit smelly, but um, anyway. Thanks for watching guys we're about to do the gib in a couple of days time which would have already been released yeah, we've already, already shown you guys that so if you haven't seen it yet go back we did daily updates um live as we were doing them so um oh yeah give them the bottle <laughs> stay tuned for next week yeah, um yeah this has been absolutely Ooh. epic make sure you like and subscribe guys bye couple of small mods and one major one really We're making this to suit a boat. A lot of people said you can't do it, especially with a Nissan Navara. Can't be done, you're gonna be overweight. I'm impressed with it. I've never had something like this before that just fits. And straight away, you just put your foot down and it just goes. 100% they work.